Workflows are an awesome tool in Zoho CRM that allow you to automate the creation of tasks, emails, and events based on pre-calculated scenarios or workflow rules occurring. The example I'm going to use to demonstrate workflows is the creation of a case for an incoming service call. The first thing we need to do is navigate to the Setup tab so we can create our workflow rule. And once I'm on the Setup tab, I can see over here under the Advanced section, the Workflow Settings, I have Workflow Rules, Workflow Alerts, and Workflow Tasks. By setting up a workflow rule, I can associate workflow alerts and workflow tasks to be triggered when that rule occurs. So we want to go here to our workflow rules. And the workflow rule contains the details about the specific scenario you want to occur to trigger the other events like emails or tasks. So let's take a look at one of the rules I've created called new service case high. So if I click edit. I've created this case to represent a service call coming in with a priority of high and type of service. So we can see it's active. Now on the execution criteria, you can see we can execute the rule when new records are created only or only when uh, records are edited or we can create it when they're created or edited or we can have the rule trigger based on updating of a specific field. Now the last part of a rule is the actual criteria. This is the meat of the rule. This is what defines the specific scenario that occurs when this rule gets triggered. So as you can see I have three criteria defined. So the case's priority is high or when the case's priority is urgent and so it's one of these two being true and the type being service. So those are the three criteria I have set up for this rule to be triggered. Now once I have the workflow rule created, I can create tasks that get created for specific personnel as well as email templates that will send out the details about the case. And if I scroll down here, I can see it, for this particular workflow rule, I have an email template which is set up under alerts. Uh, so there's an email template that goes out and there's also a task that gets created. And you see it's the due date of the task that gets created is workflow rule trigger date. That would be the date that the rule gets triggered plus zero days. So that's going to create the task to be due immediately the same day that the rule gets triggered. So uh, now that we've created the rule, let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when we make this scenario occur. So when a case gets created, so if I have a particular account or let's find, uh, if I have an account and I create a case, let's say it's for the project here, create a new case, We'll just type something up quick. And the case origin on the phone, we'll call it type service. That was one of our criteria, right? Now, the status needed to be, uh, well, the status could be anything, but it was the priority that had to be either high or urgent. So we'll go ahead and set priority to high. description in there and then once we go ahead and save this case we can see that an activity was created for the high priority case due date is today new high priority case has been created follow up today and an email also was triggered as well So that's an example of having a workflow rule get triggered and having a subsequent task get created uh, based on what we had gone ahead and set up for that workflow scenario. So one th important thing to remember is that workflows can be created and used uh, for all elements of Zoho CRM, not just for the service cases. And um, I'll go ahead and show you one more example so you can kind of see the flexibility of this and how it could be used for something in a completely different scenario. Many of our clients have found it helpful to be reminded to conduct a post-installation follow-up with their clients after a job gets finished. And an excellent way to accomplish that is through a workflow. 
So what I'm going to do is go ahead and choose a potential and we're going to find one of these potentials or opportunities that is closed. So this is like a project that I've closed the sale and I have a stage called closed one. Now what I have also done for my particular potentials in our template is created a separate a separate stage called installation complete. So that means obviously the sale has been closed but not only have I closed the sale but we finished the installation. So the, the particular project is complete. And to go along with that I've created workflow rules and um, tasks to go along with it for a sales follow-up reminder. So I'm going to go ahead and change this here and save it. And if I scroll down, you'll see that a new activity has been created uh, for follow-up two months after the installation. And so that task's due date is March 12, 2011. If I click this to look at it, we can see I've put a description on here and we have all the information about the particular task that got automated from the workflow. So now that you've seen the workflow get triggered and how I triggered it, let's go ahead and take a look at the workflow rule that caused it to happen. So I'll go back to setup, we'll take a look at workflow rules, and that particular one is called installation follow-up. So let's just hit edit, installation follow-up, based on whenever the potential uh, gets created or edited. And the criteria is the stage is installation complete. So whenever the potential gets created or edited and the stage gets set to be installation complete, this rule is triggered. So if I save that, we can see that once this rule gets triggered, I have a task, a workflow task that gets um, created uh, called follow up two months after install. Now if I edit this particular workflow task, you can see I have a subject, that's the task name basically. I can assign it to a specific person, uh, like if I have maybe one specific person who's in charge of following up with people two months after the installation, or if I leave it blank, you can see up here, the system automatically assigns the task to the records owner. So whoever's the owner of the account uh, would automatically get assigned to this task. Um, so now, uh, I set the priority to high, status not started, and now um, the due date, I can set this up to be workflow rule trigger date. That's the date that the rule gets triggered. So the date that I assign the stage of that potential to be installation complete plus 60 days. So that's going to be 60 days after it was set to installation complete. This task gets created and, and that makes the due date for the task and then I can put whatever description I want here. So I'm sure you can start to get your wheels spinning about different ways you can use this workflow rules and workflow alerts and workflow tasks to really automate a lot of things that really tend to get forgotten about sometimes in the heat of the moment. Businesses are, you know, things are happening quickly and maybe you don't remember to follow up with those clients because I'm dealing with problems on the next job or I'm trying to close that next sale. But implementing a system like this can really be a boon to your sales process and your follow-up and your customer service, uh, which can lead to more referrals, which can lead to happier clients. And I think you can take what you've seen here and really help you to apply that into your own Zoho CRM system.